Paris at Easter, who wouldn't love to be there? The spring fashions are out, the top secrets of haute couture revealed at last. For a privileged preview, come into the salon of the famous House of Carvin. The sack has been fired, along with all the other eccentricities of the last year or two, and the big couturiers have decided to put the waist back where a man can put his arm round it. Sacred Heart is a wedding gown in embroidered tulle with full skirt. 1900 is the title of the headdress. A very becoming evening dress in printed taffeta. And still dwelling on the evening is a white tulle dress re-embroidered with cape-like effect. But for hats, don't go to Paris. Here in Bond Street, some lovely girls were trying to make up their minds what they'd pick from Otto Lucas's Easter collection. They spend their working hours modelling the creations of the master, so for a holiday time treat, he let them each choose one for themselves. Normally, the glamorous creatures persuade Mrs. Bloggs that she too can be beautiful if she buys a superb hat. It was a delightful change to wear one for keeps, but it was just as difficult to choose that one as it is for an ordinary customer. Many hats call not only for the right woman to wear them, but for the right occasion. The flowered cartwheel would be unpopular in the Russia underground. The Gigi creation with white roses had tremendous appeal. And who of either sex would fail to note the eye-catching white and black spotted silk cloche? Outside in Bond Street, it was no use parking meters urging drivers to move on. The girls gave their hats an airing. Easter was here.